Post-match victory dance, Alex. Huh? Talking all that smack about being from New York. Talking all that smack about being a couple badasses from New York. Well, you know what? You are a badass. You did pretty damn good out there, man. But you know what? At the end of the day, your dirty daddy I'm going to eat you up. And that's exactly what I did. You got a lot of heart, man. You got a lot of balls. You got a lot of anger. You got to learn to channel it. And you got to learn to get tactical. It's because that's exactly what the daddy does. He goes in with the game plan, and I tapped you out. So take some notes, my friend, because you want to get out there and you want to survive in the real world with the real sharks, my friend. We're gonna eat you up. Uh, Chris! A couple of New York boys, Long Island, sat and I, hey, we're walking here, grab a couple of bagels, get a couple of coffee. What are we doing? That was our first time ever wrestling. You've been wrestling since I was in high school. I remember watching it on YouTube, man. I relish the opportunity. I relish the opportunity to step in there with you in my house, in my ring, in New Japan, LA Dojo ring. I live there. I sleep there. I bleed there. You got a lot of balls, man. Accepted my open challenge. Come to meet me here in Dallas, Texas. You said it yourself, LA Dojo, Captain. You said two other words too. Young Lion. You said Young Lion! Those two words are a handicap. I was wrestling with one arm tied behind my back. And you took the other one out from underneath me. I'm a young lion. I'm not allowed to do what I want to do. I can do so much more. You didn't see me at 100%, and it's not the last goddamn time you're ever going to see me. You understand me? Chris, you understand me? Next time you see me, I ain't wearing these. I'm not wearing these. I'm not wearing these. You get all of me. You get a full Alex Coughlin. Not just young lion. I'm graduating soon. You got a target on your back. I'll take the ferry. I'll wave the Statue of Liberty. I'm coming to you. You better believe it. Ejo. You know, just like cricket coaches, you know, like Bill Belichick, finding ways to win no, at no matter what, no matter what cost. So much double teaming going on, some ins and outs. Like, maybe they were filming our matches before this. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Taguchi definitely has to be afraid of balls. Ooh. But check this, funky weapon. Y'all didn't beat us, we beat ourselves. So what else can we really say about that? You're looking at a well-oiled team, but tonight, every good team in, a, in an entire NFL season, someone's gonna have slip-ups. It doesn't matter if you're elite like we are. It's still Team Filthy. We still went out there and killed it, but unfortunately, we fell on our own sword. Listen, the Buccaneers last year got beat 38 to three by the Green Bay Packers, then went on and won the Super Bowl. So Team Filthy and the West Coast Wrecking Crew are just fine, baby. Get that red light on, cause I got one, one, one thought, one phrase, maybe two lines. You know they say you mess with the ball, you get the horn. Well, if you mess with the Juice Robinson, you get the Texas bull rope match, baby, and that's what you're getting tomorrow, week, Clay. That's what you're getting tomorrow. Oh. Japan strong, king of sports, Bullet Club's cutest tag team, making their debut in New Japan strong in front of yeah. all the fat fans in Texas. They were large, they were large. But, boys, we lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. You know what? This, this is America, and I think we should take a moment of silence for our loss. Moment of we silence. should pay our respects. For the loss of Juice's head because we took a clean off with this cowbell! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Exactly. Let me hear it! Let me hear it! Let me hear it! Let me hear it.
Then I'm gonna beat his ass again with this bull rope. Oh yeah? Then I'll be champion. The champ of what? 